So the question is, this is the Dubai uh, Towering Inferno. So uh, there was a fire there and it was quite a blaze, it looked like a Swedish torch. And um, so sometimes uh, these um, fires are caused by fireworks, just like in Manila. Um, I, I'm not a killjoy, but I, I, I don't like encouraging people to do stupid things. And unfortunately, being drunk uh, and being in a gr group and, and uh, fireworks, it's a pretty bad combination. Um, so, so this was what happened uh, in, in in Dubai. But the question needs to be asked, you know, why the building didn't suffer a complete structural collapse. We have similar elements to what we saw in 9-11. Don't forget, the World Trade Center was a much bigger building than this. Um, we have the thick black smoke, which is what we saw on 9-11, okay, both from the World Trade Center, Twin Towers, and the, um, and the um, Building 7. Uh, this type of smoke is indicative of a cool fire. It's a bit like you try and start a bonfire using wet wood. You get, you get uh, that kind of smoke. It's not hot it's certainly not hot enough to uh, but I, I, mean, I mean I'm not surprised I mean the fact is the media should have been shocked that uh, nothing that you know the building didn't come, come collapse I mean it should have been this is the next day obviously but as you can see there's smoke coming from the building but um, <clears throat> but the building is still in, in position and uh, there's no real reason to think that <coughs> Um, it's going to collapse, is it? And I, and I mean, I'm sure the Americans wouldn't suggest that Arabic building standards are better than theirs. I mean, is the steel that's made, this building steel probably made in China, but obviously far higher quality than the shit that they, the bloody, uh, do, you know, they made it out of, I don't know, noodles. I mean, there's a, there's a fat fucker in, in Georgia who had a very popular video in which he explained that, you know, some heat could could turn structural steel to noodles. And he made a lot of money out of that. And he, he's been praised by CNN and, and Fox News as being an expert on structural engineering, when in fact he's just a flabby fucker who's been asked to do a favor and made some money from, you should stick to putting horseshoes on rodeo bulls or something, which is what those inbreds should be doing really but uh, this is the night before and um pretty 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 big fire i'd say i mean obviously only on one side of the building um thankfully no one was killed although someone had a heart attack and the, the slideshow the, the fireworks went on anyway But the point is the building the building did not collapse not only did it not collapse no one was suggesting it would collapse i mean theoretically built after 9 11 what happened well the answer is nothing because there were no changes at all to building codes three major structures structures fell in 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 new york the, the 110 story twin towers and the 47 story building seven they were both built to talk they were both built to different designs Right. And yet nothing changed. There was no change at all to international building codes. Now, what should have happened if we took to believe the 9-11 story is this fire should have triggered an automatic evacuation of everyone within one square mile of this building. Because if the 9-11 story is to be taken as true, this a collapse was possible. I mean, one of the buildings collapsed in under an hour and the other took two hours and building seven came down at 5.20 p.m. Uh, in Eastern Standard Time, which uh, was it reported 20 minutes in advance by the BBC. The BBC predicted it. How clever of them. How clever that they know it's going to happen. And when they were asked how they knew it, they said, oh, yeah, we'd been told that because it was, it, 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 it was in imminent danger of collapsing. But they wouldn't explain who it was who told them this. <clears throat> I mean, if you if you say, if you start, if you go into the street and, and tell people a rumor, and you say, 
hey, that guy there is a nonce, right? <clears throat> and then another person says it. Well, technically, what should happen is if the police say, look, there's someone being spreading rumours here. Who told you he was a nonce? Then you can say, yeah, that guy told me. All right, so you go to that guy. Who told you he was a nonce? Eventually, you'll run out of people to ask. And the person who started the rumour will be the one who created the lies. OK, but the BBC can't tell us who told them the lies. So the fact is the BBC created the lie themselves or they're covering up for the people who lied. Look, it's hot. And another thing is, <clears throat> why would you need to? <coughs> there's a generator there and then there's a, a light and everyone's sitting on the top. And they've got those. Um, <coughs> they've got those um, space blankets again, as used in Paris which I find quite odd. Why would they need space blankets? It's a bit the theatrical. <coughs> well, anyway, uh, the, the, the key is, um, of course, n no, no crisis would be complete without people running, especially when they have a, a phone in their hands. So again, the media never say how surprised they are. I mean, there should always be a risk now of, of complete building collapse. And yet there isn't any, the, the media never mentioned, the, the media never mentioned 9-11. <coughs> they never make the comparison between a skyscraper fire and 9-11. There have been hundreds of skyscraper fires since the dawn of the age of steel skyscrapers, more than a hundred years. And in that time frame, only three buildings have collapsed because of structural steel, because of fire, so we're told. And all those three buildings were owned by the same man, and all those same buildings occurred in the same city and on the same day, September the 11th, 2001. Now that to me is rather a big coincidence. <clears throat>